I was a chef in New York City and I lost my job. Ryan Carroll was laid off on March 17th, and by the 18th, he came up with a plan. We sell food to the public in order to raise money to feed thousands of people. It started with a fresh chicken parm for his grandmother, and then the chef realized he could help others. He enlisted the help of newly unemployed hospitality workers like him. Together, they formed Carol's Kitchen in Belmore. Buffalo cauliflower wrap. Can you get the quinoa? I can't really sit home, so this is pretty much my best option. <laughs> You know, and I love doing it. I love helping people. The nonprofit cooks and delivers well balanced nutritional meals across Long Island. People who can pay can order from the website, and half the proceeds go to local organizations that help Long Islanders. The rest of the money is used to put chefs to work in his kitchen to continue the mission of helping people struggling with food insecurity due to the coronavirus pandemic. This week, we meet the veterans tomorrow in Belmore with the Kiwanis Club and the Lions Club and the Belmore Fire Department. We've had over 100 chefs in and out of here. We have like 10 on staff right now. Um, money raised through donations, probably $100,000. The nonprofit that relies solely on donations and volunteers has fed over 33,000 people. Their goal is to hit 100,000 meals by the end of the year. Food insecurity is a huge issue on Long Island. And we're here to battle it. You know, we're going to feed as many people as we possibly can with the resources that we have. Alexandra Murray was also out of a job. Now she volunteers her time. It's really, really rewarding seeing the look on people's faces when you give them food. As for Carol, he plans to continue cooking for the cause indefinitely. Once you start helping people, it's nearly impossible to stop, and I love it, so I think this is the where I'm going to go forward with my life. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.